Welcome to Woodland Primary School. My name is Stacey Anderson and I'm the principal of Woodland Primary School. We are so excited for your child to join us in kindergarten. This presentation is an overview of what to expect in kindergarten. Please note that if you speak Spanish, a separate presentation with all of the same exact slides in Spanish has been provided for you on our website. We have a team here ready to help you. My name is Stacy Anderson, I'm the principal, and we have Jordan Anderson, our assistant principal. We also have Elizabeth Sanchez Sapezzi, the coordinator of our dual language and bilingual education for the district. For the 2020 and 2021 school year, we will have a new early childhood supervisor. So we will introduce you to her or him once they are hired. That's going to be our team for your child and your family. We're proud to be Wildcats and proud to be primary. Part of life in the W here at Woodland Primary is that we're proud of our accomplishments. The primary school has been a recipient of many awards, as you see listed below. We have pride in our programs, our staff, and the work that we do each day. Our true shining stars at Woodland Primary are the students and our staff. The relationship between our staff and our students is one to be commended. We have dedicated professionals that take their jobs seriously and they love working with students. We are so lucky to have this amazing staff at Woodland Primary. Let's look at the programs offered at Woodland Primary. We have our kindergarten, which is monolingual, and that is a full day program. We also offer a dual language program, which is also a full day program. And then we have our early childhood and our WHEEL grant funded program for preschool, which are both half day programs. Please note that our kindergarten and dual language programs may have a different release time or calendar events than our early childhood and WHEEL programs. Please note that school starts each day for kindergarten students at 7.55 a.m. The drop-off time is between 7.40 a.m. and 7.55 a.m. If your child rides the bus, they will arrive during that window. Our early childhood and WHEEL program times are in the a.m. and in the p.m. So please note that for parking lot safety and bus arrival will be four times during the day for those programs. Please note that lunches are sometime between 10.30 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. for your kindergarten student. If your child is a dual language student, your child's schedule will look a little different. Your child's day will be divided into two sections. They will spend time in an English room and in a Spanish classroom. They will have a homeroom. That is where they will report each day to start their day. And so you will have a homeroom teacher. It will either be a Spanish or English teacher. Then at some point during the day, midway, they will flip and go to their other section. So they will have a total of two teachers, one Spanish and one English, and those two teachers will work collaboratively to provide education for your child. Now, throughout the day, dual language students will move very often between both classrooms. Sometimes the two classrooms will come together for bridging activities or other special reasons. This is particular to dual only. So they will have two classrooms. Their day will be in English and Spanish. Their instruction will be in both languages and they will have two teachers. We encourage your child to ride the bus to school each day. It's a safe option and it will always get your child there on time. Plus, it's a wonderful social experience for your child. We have designated drop-off areas, so there's no need to worry that your child will not know where to go. And we have office and teacher teams, as well as extra staff, in all areas welcoming students to school each day and making sure that they're safe in our parking lots. Your child will have a bus tag that you will get when you come for our welcome times, and you will also get a special tag for parent drop-off. If your child is going to be dropped off, you will need to park in our parking lot and walk your child in each day. And if you plan to have your child picked up after school, you will receive, at our welcome times, a special orange tag. 
you will get two of these so that you are able to use them to pick up your child or in the event a family member is going to pick up your child, you would give them this special parent pickup tag. We will talk more about this at our welcome times, but we have a very sound system in place that keeps everybody accounted for and safe during this very busy time. We recommend that your child ride the bus to and from school each day regularly. But in the event you have to pick your child up for a special appointment or at the end of the day, we ask that you write a note to your child's teacher. Please do not send an email as your teacher may be absent that day and not receive the email. And they're also teaching so they are not checking email throughout the day. We also have our primary pickup pass, which I had referred to earlier. That's going to be the orange pass that you're going to get when you come for our welcome time. And it is vital that you sign your child out when you come to pick them up. And don't forget, our parking lot is very busy. And so we have specific spots where you can park. And please observe, handicapped parking is for those that have handicapped tags and permits only. Our parking lot is safe and you're a part of that. Remember to observe the handicapped spaces and please only park in lined spaces. We don't park along the grassy areas and we are not allowing cars in our bus lane. Our bus lane only goes one way and we also ask that you not drive in the back of our school. That is where buses unload and so the back of the school is not an area for cars to come around to. Please observe normal safety protocols. Things like no cell phone usage and going slow and observing bus activity as well as small children and families walking in our parking lot. It's so important that we work together to keep it a safe place at Woodland Primary School. Each day your child has the option to have breakfast at school and lunch at school. You may bring your own or you may order from our cafeteria. Students will also participate in recess two times each day. One of those times will be after or before their lunch period and another one will be a separate recess that they go out with their class and their classroom teacher. Please remember we go outside unless it is colder than 10 degrees. It's so healthy for our students to get outside and get daily exercise. We love birthdays at Woodland Primary School and the celebration is really up to your child. Instead of celebrating with food or treats or trinkets, we ask that you don't send anything in for your child's birthday and let us celebrate them in a special way. Your child's teacher will give them a menu of options on how to celebrate their birthday to the way that's going to make them feel happiest. They might have a dance party. They may just choose a birthday crown and a special story. It's really up to them. It's about celebrating them and their special day. The kindergarten curriculum consists of a year-long plan. This is a pacing guide that all of our kindergarten teachers use to ensure that we are all working with the same curriculum during the same points in the school year. There are differences between the monolingual kindergarten curriculum and the dual language curriculum. Please note that when we have curriculum night in the fall, we will go over our specific programs for you. But it is important that you know we follow all state standards. We also have an emotional social piece of our curriculum where we implement parts of our PBIS and ROAR program. And we also use assessments to guide our instruction. Students will be observed during the first 40 days of school for our kids assessment that is done through the state of Illinois. These are observations that we make about how they are playing, interacting, and working each day at school. In addition, we used assessments like FastBridge and our MAP assessments to get a good baseline observation of how your child is functioning. We report to you two times per year. There will be a report card that goes home in January and one at the end of the year. We also have information and a review of skills and mastery at our conferences in November and February. 
We do our very best to keep you informed as your child grows and develops throughout the year. An integral part of our program is playing in kindergarten. We have done a lot of work researching play and the benefits to our students. We instill 45 minutes per day of play. There are many reasons that we include this in our schedule, and we will go into more detail again on our curriculum night, but it is important that you know that play is the work of children. It's how we develop, create, grow, and explore. And at Woodland Primary, it is definitely a strong part of our day that helps your child make independent choices, find interests, work with others, and develop and grow. Technology is at Woodland Primary in a variety of ways. This is an important tool for our teachers to use and implement in our classrooms. All of our classrooms have smart boards, which are interactive boards that allow students to participate and work collaboratively on lessons. We also have iPads that are used for project-based learning. And we also use our Chromebooks to assess students with our FastBridge and MAP assessments. Don't forget that we also do interventions that use programs like Lexia and Dreambox to track how your student is progressing in certain skills. But again, technology is just a tool like anything else, and we appreciate the amount of devices that we have at our disposal at Woodland Primary School. We take safety very seriously at Woodland Primary School. We will run safety drills throughout the school year and alert you to when those drills are happening so that you can discuss them at home with your child. We also use our Raptor system to check in any volunteers, and we have a crisis team that is in place to support you, your child, or families, and our staff if needed. We get support from our local law enforcement agencies and our fire department when running our drills to ensure that we are following all protocols and improving where necessary. All students will wear student ID tags. This helps us know exactly where your child is throughout the day. Last, we need to have the most current and correct phone numbers and email addresses so that we can always reach you. In the event that your child is sick or we have an emergency at school, we want to be able to reach you as quickly as possible. So please make sure to update us if any of your phone numbers or email addresses change. Thank you so much for helping with this. It's important that your child gets ready to meet Wiley the Wildcat. While we love Wiley and we see him as our awesome superstar, some students are afraid of Wiley and they're not sure what to think. So the more that you can prepare your child to understand that Wiley is our school mascot and he is such a wonderful part of Woodland Primary, the better it will be for your child. We love to have fun at Woodland Primary. We'll have lots of spirit days and ways for you and your child to get involved. School is a fun environment where learning is fun and being with our friends is fun. And so we celebrate in a variety of ways, whether it's a holiday party or a theme day, or we're doing something just to put smiles on students' faces. Please join us when we have these fun days. There's some exciting things coming soon. Saturday, May 2nd, was originally supposed to be our sneak peek event. We will still be providing a virtual sneak peek, which will be a video tour of our school with some added information. You'll also want to mark your calendars for our District Proof of Residency event. This is held on August 5th and 6th and will be at our middle school. All families will attend this. You will be able to get busing information, classroom teacher information, and more that day. So in its event, you will not want to miss. The first day of school for Woodland Primary will be Thursday, August 27th. The rest of the district, grades 1st through 8th, will start on Wednesday, August 26th. But for Woodland Primary School, those are our welcome times. You will receive a special appointment to meet classroom teachers and bring your child's school supplies and talk to the teachers about your child. In addition, your child will get a chance to visit our cafeteria, the playground, 
areas like our library, our music room, and our gym. So it's a special day, but please note it is not the first day of school. You will need to mark your calendars because you will visit with your child at a special appointment time on that day. Health requirements for students entering kindergarten are provided to us by our nurse, Kara Edgeworth. The next two slides will show you what the requirements are for your child to enter kindergarten. Please note that we will need a physical on file and a dental visit turned in before the start of school. If you are unable to do so, you please need to contact our nurse who's information is provided in these slides. We have special days at Woodland Primary. You will have an opportunity to come to our school parties or be a head room parent if that's something you're interested in. We love having families, parents, grandparents, anyone come in and volunteer to help our students. You can also join our fabulous PTA. They are an amazing support system for our schools. Our Halloween parade and party times, as well as our winter party and Valentine dates, are below. Please mark your calendar for the events that will happen during the school year. These are some of our biggest events, our curriculum nights, our PBIS family night, conferences, and our spring open house. Please plan ahead for these events. Parking is always very crowded. But be sure that we will communicate out through our website, Twitter, and other ways the importance of these dates and the details for each of these events. Communication is key, and we have a variety of ways of communicating with you. We have our district and primary school web pages, along with a district Facebook page, and we have several Twitter accounts that will help you stay informed. You can also follow me on Snapchat where I will provide three pictures typically per day in my story that are taken when students are in the building and to show the fun activities and the different learning that is occurring each day. Please take a moment to sign up for Twitter or Facebook so that you can get connected with us and always be in the know. Contacting your teacher. Please note that your teacher has a voicemail that is set up for her, but she will not get a direct phone call into her classroom because she is teaching. So teachers will check their voicemail two times daily and get back to you as soon as they can. Our typical expectation is that within 24 hours, you will hear from one of us. If you reach out to our school office, attendance line, our transportation department, myself or other administrators, we also commit to getting back to you as soon as possible or within 24 hours. Remember, we're with your students during the day, so we are not always available immediately by phone, but please contact us if you have any questions or concerns. So here's your homework, parents. I know that all of you want to be as ready as possible to help your child transition into kindergarten. So you can start by keeping up to date by checking out our website and our Twitter and Facebook accounts as often as possible to see if there's any updates. Also, you're going to want to schedule appointments for those medical requirements and that dental appointment so that everything is in place in the fall. If you have any concerns or you want to talk to me about your child's placement, please send me an email. We don't take specific teacher requests because there are many factors that go into placement. Rather, we ask that you describe your child, give us a little bit about their personality and their learning style, and I will do my very best to match them with a learning environment that will work best for them. And then, don't forget, get ready for that Proof of Residency event in August. And last, I can't wait to see you at Gurney Days. We always come out in a big way for Woodland District 50. You'll see Wiley there and various staff members. And we have a great time making sure that we have a float in the parade and representing life in the W at Woodland District 50. Don't forget to join our PTA. You can join our PTA at any point. They have a website that is embedded within our District 50 website, so check it out today. Did you know that they fund all of our cultural arts programs for our school? 
It's an amazing thing that they do for our students. They bring in amazing entertainment, and it's such a positive experience that wouldn't be possible without their support. Last are suggestions for success. Many parents have approached me about what should we be doing with our students? Should we be doing workbook pages and things like that? And the answer to that is no. Really, the best thing that you can do to prepare your child is to start some routines in the beginning of August, meaning get on a regular schedule so that getting up early each day will not be a problem for your child. It is so important that they go to bed at a decent time so that they have enough sleep to be ready for a full day ahead. It's also important that you promote this as an exciting time. If you show a little anxiety, your child will pick up on that. And we know that it is hard to let go and see them grow and change, but you have to have a brave face and promote kindergarten as an amazing experience for them. It's also important to encourage independence, making sure that they can tie their shoes and zip their coats and brush their teeth and really encourage them doing things on their own. That is a great way for them to try things. We don't expect them to be able to do those things, but we love being able to encourage them and let them know that they can do it. It's very exciting for them to try things on their own. And then last, support at home. There are going to be days when they cry or they come home and they're sad. And there's going to be days when you're sad when you see them go off on that bus or join their first day of class. But if you do it together and you smile through it and you realize that this is such an important part of the beginning of their education, then it will be okay. And if it's not feeling like things are going the way that they should be, please reach out to an administrator. Myself, the assistant principal, we are all here for you to help make sure that this transition is smooth. Last, I want to thank you for trusting us with your child. We understand how important these people are to you. This is your child and this is their year in kindergarten. We are committed to providing them with the safe and secure and positive learning environment so that your child will thrive and grow. I mean that from the bottom of my heart and I can speak for my entire staff when I say to you that we care about your child and we care very much about building a relationship between home and school. We have to do it together. It's the only way. So take a deep breath. It'll all be great. We are looking forward to it. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon.